Now the weeks of extremely hot weather and little rain are starting to impact farms across portions of eastern Carolina. Olivia Doles spoke with farmers about how the conditions could impact the upcoming harvest. And she's live in Jones County, which is one of the counties now being impacted by a moderate drought. Olivia. Dave, the farmers here in Jones County, the drought may be in its early stages, but there are concerns that the extreme heat could make matters worse. I spoke with a farmer here in Jones County about the impact on his crops. It's a busy time in eastern North Carolina for farmers with harvest season on the horizon, but it hasn't been an easy year for many of them, including Keith Mills. It seems a little hotter than normal, but yeah, it's summertime, we're supposed to be hot, but usually we get more rain. And with little rain and near record heat over the past few weeks, many plants are starting to dry out. We get really hot conditions. Uh, you tend to see plants dry out a little bit faster. That's something Mills says he is seeing with several of his crops. It's in dry down stage now. We're getting ready to harvest. Uh, it's probably really not affecting it, but the soybeans, cotton, tobacco, all that stuff is, uh, is really starting to suffer with the heat and the humidity and, no, and the lack of rain. Even with high humidity, many crops aren't weathering the weather, with many changing color from green to brown. Humidity can lock in some of that moisture, but if you're baking out in the sun all day, like a lot of the crops are, you are going to lose moisture uh, throughout the day, and you can even get a little bit uh, sun fried there on the tips of the leaves. But despite the tough conditions, farmers say they will continue to find ways to take care of their crops. Well, I mean, we pump water out of ponds or irrigation ponds and uh, sprinklers are all over the field. Mills says they are irrigating as much as they can and hope to see rain soon. In a way for us to get out of the drought we are in, it will take two to three days of heavy rain or one tropical system. Reporting live in Jones County, Olivia Doles, WITN News. All right, thanks, Olivia. And as we said, that heat advisory is in effect until 8 o'clock tonight.